competed in this competition, so we kind of had a family sweep as far as the competition goes. So what I'm going to ask her to do is, if she can, okay, come do like a couple minutes of one of your monologues. You, you got them? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So do one of your monologues real quick, okay? And so it just bless us with one of your monologues and just show you that, you know, it's, it's still kind of spoken and it kind of ties into affairs of life. But you can see also uh, what kind of a talented, talented actress that she really is and how much I'm proud of her. So give it up for L.A. Madison one more time as she comes for a brief monologue. I will. I think it's beautiful, but I'll do that one. So what? Do you hate me? Do you not want to be my friend anymore? Is that it? I never asked you for any of that. In fact, all I did was love you, and I really wouldn't say that was a crime. Unless, of course, you're telling me you would. It was always about you. You know this. Always. And I came for the love of God to decide whether I wanted you or who you were. I just know whatever I wanted. I wanted it with a passion. Do you not love me because I'm ugly? Is that it because I know I am? God just didn't give me beauty and for one thing, I don't care. I can't help not having a bird figure and big eyes as much as you can't help me be asshole that you are. Born that way, I guess, huh? You know, you actually hurt my feelings today and I'm fairly sure you didn't even recognize it. Just something you said on impulse forgot about a moment later. When I got in the car to go home, I didn't forget. It's the way that you are. I never gave a damn about what anyone else thought about me. These girls changing that. It's like... <sighs> Let's just say I am so looking forward to the day you leave and either hear or see you again. Because I'm going to be somebody. And yeah, you may look at me now. You make your judgments, your little decisions. But it's not going to always be that way. Because tomorrow, yeah, I may not be pretty. But I will be beautiful. <laughs> I give it up for L.A. Madison. Give it up for L.A. Madison with the monologue. Yeah. You got such fiery passion in your voice. Like when you go up, like, I want to get, like, it's like, how you feeling? You're like, yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah, say that. Yeah, I dig it. All right. Y'all having a good time? Y'all still with us? Woo! All right. All right. Um, let's see. Mm-hmm. All right. Huh? What's going on? Huh? I heard like you. All right. All right. <laughs> so up next, y'all, we're gonna have round two up again. And uh, this artist coming up the first time they did a damn good job. Damn good job. Come on. I ain't gonna really be scared of break dance. I, <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, bars on deck. He was aggressive enough. Like I can see him in the classroom, like doing that to a kid. Like a kid there, like yeah, you don't want to see me teach. I'm like oh yeah. <laughs> I got these bars for you, little son. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna teach you in the building and I'll teach you something right now. Come on over here, I'll break you down. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, y'all get your hands together. I'll give it up for the complete artist in the building. Yeah. Woo! Oh, here we go with this mic thing again. <laughs> uh, everybody got somebody that's close to us. You know, and um, I definitely don't condone violence, but I wrote this because sometimes people just take you there. I believe, you. <laughs> yes. I believe yes. that, you know, you're supposed to stand up for anything. You're supposed to stand up for yourself, you know, and you're right. not. That's different levels of diplomacy, you know. Ask what should always be down here. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be here like we disagree and then we got to fight. But, right. you know, I was thinking about it, and uh, I wrote this because everybody got that person that, you know, that you want to defend to the best of your ability. Yes. So this is called I Got Your Back. Okay. All right. I told you, my brother, yo, and I got your back. Mm. No matter the facts or how high the chips stack, I'll be first to react, pull out the black gat, and proceed to super speed to rat a tie to sucker snaps. Mm. Your protection second shadow when your back's against the fort wall. I stand tall above them all. I'm there to catch you if you fall. If it's a battle to the finish, I'm there to help you win it. Might see my blurred image at the front line of scrimmage. Mm. Hey, there's vital signs diminish, except my death sentence. Realize the energize the ghetto terminator menace. Come on. Complete artist, shoot the farthest. Kick it phonics from the heart. Mm. I'm all broke, outspoken when the bullshit starts. Come on. I am fronting to my people, yo, I love peace, mm. but I love killing more if you fuck with my peeps. That's when the beast release, all the heartbeat cease, and my bloody size 12s leave the trail from your street. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Y'all better leave that man alone. <laughs> that's a, that's a 
dangerous brother right there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, girl. We about to roll deep, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And I know you're educated, too. Yeah. And instead of doing drive-by, we're going to do some drive-by whoopings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> just pull up on Cassie, like, just get out and just start beating them with belts. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, girl. <laughs> That's, a, that's what I'm saying. Boy, we're gonna drop some naughty little. That's what I'm saying. Give it up for him one more time. That's what I'm talking about. Complete artist. Complete artist. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh man, who's up next, baby boy? Last one. Last one. Last one. Who's the last victim? Oh, oh. There she is. Yeah. Angel. <laughs> now, you already gave us the side chick anthem. <laughs> All right. Side chicks everywhere gonna be mad at you. I'm gonna call you. What's up, what's up, girl's name? What's Steph's wife's name? Sad uh, uh, what was it? Steph Curry's wife's name? What's that girl's name? Aisha, Aisha, Aisha Curry. <laughs> Cause you know, th thoughts don't like Aisha Curry. Okay, they, they can't stand Aisha Curry. You know what I mean? And now you coming on the scene with the side chick anthem. They gonna start hating on you on Twitter next. Okay. <laughs> Who she thinks she is? All right. Uh, she thinks she's somebody gonna write some kind of anthem about me. <laughs> That's the problem. Right. <laughs> You're destroying the franchise. <laughs> wow. Why not a franchise? It's a franchise. I'm done. <laughs> y'all don't mind me, I'm retarded. It's good. All right, but well, please, once again, once again, I told y'all, I've already gave y'all y'all her autobiography, right, so I don't right. wanna, I ain't gonna just do it. <laughs> she said, right, hey, right. <laughs> but y'all give it up for, 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 once again, my agent. Y'all give it up for Ray Love. She gonna take us home tonight. All right. Let's do it, Ray Love. Yeah, mic movement. Ping pong, music and movement. Yeah, music and movement. That's what's up. Yes. By the way, the next music and movement open mic is May 14th. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put that in y'all oh, yeah. calendars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I won't be before you guys long. This piece I wrote like so long ago. It's like, bring it. Oh, it was retired <laughs> until she keeps asking for me to do it. Yeah, so, bring uh, it. <laughs> bring it. His poem called Change doesn't really need a uh, introduction, so. <sighs> Man, I'm so tired of all the racism, sexism, terrorism. I mean, all the isms that can mess up my day. I mean, come on, y'all. We're supposed to be land of the free and home of the brave. Then how come we all act like cowards, afraid of who we are and what we do? Putting on a mask, not letting you shine through. Mm. Silencing our souls? And for what? We need to speak. We need to express. We need to embrace the cleanliness and the mess of our world and talk about it. Because we all know that everybody in the world wonders about it. Sometimes we even wonder why the man in the corner of the liquor store can't wait.